This video is gonna blow your mind. You will not believe how easy it is to de-wrinkle clothes, take the blood vessels out of an eye, and then finally, finally clean up hairlines in clicks. It's unreal. I have to admit, I am now officially concerned for photographic retouchers at this point. And on top of it, you won't believe how cheap it is to do it. Hey, while you're watching this, if you haven't been here before, go ahead and hit subscribe. I have a ton of video content for you that's gonna help you with your photography as well as your business. Come on, Michael, just hit subscribe. You've heard me talk about this product before, but it's got some insane updates that are going to blow your mind. It officially is the number one retouching tool possible and it's pennies pennies to get this done versus going to a retoucher that's going to do it by hand. And it had flaws before, like it couldn't do the hairline or de-wrinkle and now it's done. So let me show you this styled shoot that I recently did over the Wishwell house in Georgetown. It was such a fun shoot. They're actually a real couple. I'll be photographing them next year. Let me show you what the power of AI can do for you. For wedding photographers, this is just, it's a no brainer now. I honestly wish I had this last week because I could have used it instead of doing it by hand like I did. Let's jump into it. So this is Evoto. If you haven't used them before, they are super simple to use. You really need no instruction. All the tools are over here on the right. And I just have a bunch of these photos in here from the shoot. Uh, they aren't edited. These are all just straight out of camera. So the first thing that we're going to do is give these a quick AI edit. And the way that we're gonna do that Let's just start on this photo right here. We're gonna go into our paintbrush tool and they have all these AI color looks. Um, you know, we can click through and you can see what they look like. And the fun part is they're adjustable. So you can go a little heavier on them or a little bit lighter on them. I like the Pure Love personally. I know this olive green is gonna be very popular for a lot of photographers, but for me, I'm going with the Pure Love. And then from here, I'm just gonna select all and sync and it's going to sync the AI color adjustments. Now I probably could have done that in like, um, you know, after I was totally done, but now you can just see right off the bat, you'll see how it pops in a second and it just puts those AI adjustments on every single photo. Okay. But can we just get to the, the main thing? I have to just show you this right here. So this right here, obviously she looks gorgeous and you know, we could do her before and after on the whole thing but she's got a little bit of flyaway hairs. And honestly, not that much. I've definitely had clients and people I photograph with more, but let's just look at these flyaway hairs. We can go over here into, boop, into our portrait retouching down to hair, and you can see it's new. It, it's unbelievable what we can do. First of all, hair gaps, hair gaps. Balding people, myself included a little bit. Uh, this is now so easy to fix. So we can hit hair gaps here and look right between, look at her hair right here. Uh, for his, um, you don't have to worry, he's awesome, but she, and I wouldn't even call it hair gaps, just like you can see the part and look how we can just cover it up. That's it, like, do you, do you see this? Hang on, let's zoom it in, let's zoom it in people. Just that hair gap. So that was before, that's after. See how it's moving it all in? Now, this other one, high cranial top look, we can give her a poof. Give her more of a poof if we want to do the poof. The hairline itself, maybe people have a receding hairline, up or down, whatever one they want. Some people just don't like how low it is. Some people don't like how high their hairline is. It's amazing how many things we can be pissed off at how ourselves and how we look. Done. But this is the big one. The big one for me is this remove stray hairs. Are you ready? This is in beta, people. Beta. Bam. It's gone. Are you kidding me? And look up here, look up here. And we'll do before and after look. Before, and this is the whole before and after. Look at all those flyaway hairs. Even, look at this right here. That little flyaway that was right there, watch. So not just the flyaway hairs around them, but the flyaway hairs that are sitting on top, like the frizz, basically. And you can change this, like, you know, within the figure outline or without and, and adjust to your heart's content. But that is wild. Look at that before and after. Absolutely insane, insane. Okay, I have to show you some of the other new features. It's not gonna work for Danielle here because um, she has absolutely no veins in her eyes. <laughs> but I'm gonna go to uh, Juliana. 
and let's get one of her close-ups right here so this already has a little bit of AI retouching on it we did a little on her skin and brightened her eyes but let's go ahead let me show you the eyes I already have the brightness up so let me just go down so you can kind of see what they were out of camera she has incredible eyes so they're awesome but now we have this new removing veins and i know you're looking at this i know you're looking at the catch light but one thing at a time one thing at a time okay red veins watch gone <laughs> let me zoom in hold on Are you kidding it's just it's like i hand retouch that let me put them back there they are there they're gone now you see them now you don't now you see them. Now you don't. That's insane. And then now we have these catch lights. I have a really strong catch light in this one. So this is not a good example. Um, I don't think any of these actually are good examples. I'm pretty sure I have good catch lights in all of them. Not like I just know how I lit these. Maybe this. Let's look at this one. If I were to do a catch light in that one, like make a really strong catch light. That's so cool. Look at that. We're changing the catch lights. You realize this goes back to like when digital came out, like photographers would change the catch lights in their model's eyes. Did you know that? So that they, so that other photographers would look at their photo and not understand their lighting because the catch light is the giveaway of how you light something. You could do that again now in one click. I mean, don't, that's rude. Um, use it to enhance, not to trick other photographers. But isn't that crazy? that insane before and after and then of course the whole photo uh the skin retouching is in the the video where we made this so you can look at i just wanted to show you the eyes on there because that is just absolutely bananas oh, i haven't even brightened them yet bam now they're brightened look at that before and after crazy crazy i'm excited about this um oh my and then there's a new contour that's right with the makeup there's new contour so we can like really contour her out if we want to so much fun it's like just adding makeup after the fact it really is great okay so that's oh and the wrinkling let me show you the wrinkling because that's a big one um who do i have that had wrinkled Clo you know what let's go back to here i bet you every guy has like a wrinkly shirt at some point right so Okay. Oh, this is going. Look at all those wrinkles down there. Okay. Let's, let's try coming over here to the clothing, to wrinkle clothing. Oh, look at that. Smooth it right out. And this is in beta, so it's not totally done yet, but oh my gosh, let's go to hundred percent. Look at that before and after wrinkle, no wrinkle, wrinkle, no wrinkle. And I wouldn't do it that much. Like that's to me, not quite as realistic but you can decide like take away the coarse wrinkles or not so i'm gonna leave some of the coarse wrinkles in because to me that's a little bit natural like it's not supposed to look super flat but you can take out these fine lines and that's where like the real wrinkles come in so yeah look at that before and after i'm just showing this stuff to you guys this is just this is a new part of my workflow the hairline thing is huge whether it's filling in the gaps i definitely have clients um usually men where i'm photographing somewhere maybe on the back of their head and they get self-conscious about that and that takes a lot of time to pop in you know to photoshop and do all that separately and then now that we can get rid of the frizz i mean it's just crazy i'm trying to look at like some of these other shoots let's look at this one of course her hair is perfect what's with my models and all their perfect hair and clothes let's look at this one because I know, yeah, okay, this is a good example because I lit Tatum like this um, backlit. And of course, it's going to show more frizz. So let's go ahead. We'll zoom that in. Hair. Hair gaps. She has zero. I wonder what that's going to do. Yeah, she has zero hair gaps. Let's see, high cranial top. So we could give her more of a puff if we want to. Mess with the hairline, but I really want to remove straight hair. So let's see. Unbelievable. And that was a little too much for me, but let me just do total and then within figure outlines, beyond figure outlines, so we can like adjust it over here. I mean, that would have taken me forever to smooth out her hair. And then, I mean, to me, this th right around 30% is good to me. So there's the before, after, before, after. Unbelievable. I did some skin retouching on her too. Ugh. Incredible. Let me just look at her eyes. I just want to see these catch lights. 
Uh, let's do that one. Yeah, look how that's crazy. I wouldn't do that because it, it already, she already has a catch light. I'm trying to find, let me look for like a natural light where someone did not have a catch light. Oh, this one might be good. Yeah, okay, here. So, eyes. Let's zoom you in to 100%, 200%, 100%. There we go. Because it's kind of muddled. It's not like a significant catch light. But there, now it is. And then we can make it a little less, a little more. I'll probably actually do this one. This one would amplify what was already happening in the picture. That's so crazy. Crazy. So, none and then some. And that's that's natural. That looks totally natural to me. You can download this and use it 100% for free. What? Yeah, you can. The only thing that you're gonna pay for is the exporting. So whatever of your final photos are, you pay for the export and it is pennies. Pennies you're paying for. And the best part is you don't pay for re-exports. Meaning you decided to retouch it and your client was like, oh, that was a little bit too much or it wasn't enough. You can go fix it and then re-export it without getting charged anything. It's the most least expensive, most powerful tool that I have in my business that does the most for my final product. Check it out. I hope you like it. Let me know what you think. I know you will down in the comments and I'll see you next time.